Okay. Hello. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I'm going to do this, this speech in English because there are some people who don't speak German, um, although there are a lot of colleagues from the German Embassy. So I want to welcome everybody. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. This is my first solo art exhibition. I've done exhibitions before in Bangkok, but we did it, I did it together with my husband as a couple because my husband is an artist uh, as well, I would say, and he studied fine arts in Florida. I'm more like a self-taught artist, and hi, Mike. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is the first time that I'm doing a solo exhibition, so thank you so much to the owner of Jam Cafe for the opportunity to show all my works, but I have more works, but this is just a part of my works. All in together, I have 26 pieces today here in this room and also outside the gallery. I got already some very um, interesting questions uh, about people who would, uh, paint themselves, like uh, is this acrylic, is this oil, this is uh, mainly acrylics uh, on wood and acrylics also on canvas. I started in 2009 to paint, uh, very intense because my, my mother passed away in 2009 and, and art and painting was, is, is still a therapy for me to get over a lot of things, not just the loss of my parents but also like a balance in my life and to think over s stuff also at work, you know, to find balance and harmony and get all the stress out. And well, I started with also with oil colors and I did watercolors. I did a lot and I also have outside the gallery oil pastels. They are kind of a crayon uh, type of thing, more like wax. I did that in the beginning, I liked it, but then I stopped doing it because with crayons or oil pastels you have to paint on paper. And paper is a very small medium because you can see that I got bigger with time. That is a big piece over there too. So I got bigger with time so oil pastels didn't work for me anymore. I used to um, do oil colors but in my opinion I'm kind of impatient. They, dry, they, they need a time, long time to dry and acrylics dry faster. It doesn't make it easier because if colors dry faster the blending is, is very difficult to do, especially if you like doing skin tones. Um, I was thinking uh, to do like um, an introduction, like an explanation to all my works, because so you understand why I titled this exhibition Emotions. And um, Mr. Schwartz said today that we really like that, that Frida painting over there because it shows a lot of emotions. And behind every painting that I did is a story. It, I just didn't like paint it because I didn't have anything better to do or I just feel bored. Every painting represents an emotion, a feeling that got me finally to paint it. So I want to start with um, maybe the, the Buddha series over there, which is pretty interesting because um, I did them long time ago. I did them a long time ago, several years ago. Wanted to exhibit them at the Banyan Tree, the very first exhibition we did in 2017. And then they said um, anything that is related to Buddhist, Buddha is forbidden. So this is kind of a forbidden work that you're seeing today. <laughs> it's always been, I, I really like those pieces because of the colors. And uh, it really has meaning to me because I am Buddhist. And um, I, I can explain like later in detail what all these paintings are about because they all have titles. Like this one, um, it says "I beg you," because you can see like the little monkey like looking like a, a Buddha, like begging him, like praying to him. Because sometimes when I pray, it might be me representing the monkey and go like, "Buddha, please, I beg you, have mercy." You know, something like that. Um, yeah, this is also acrylics on wood. Um, so this is um, like a premiere that you can see this work, although I have been painting that many years ago. So thanks to Jam for not restricting 
uh, to show um, Buddha-related paintings. So this, someone asked me what was your last piece that you did in this room? This, this one was my last piece? No, not really, in this room. Um, uh, already paid a koala bear, but it's not in this exhibition, it's going to be an exhibition next year. And this one is called Plastic Generation. It has this crackle effect. My, my husband did it for me. And I was a little bit like worried how it's going to turn out but I wanted to make it more dramatic because the piece looked very clean after I finished it. The colors, everything looked very clean and plastic is like, you know, something like it's pollution. It shouldn't look clean. It should look disturbing. And that's why we did the crackle effect just on this piece. So you can see that it has a structure and my husband helped me with, with the glossing to make it look like that. Um, I think at the embassy we're trying to do a good job um, to like um, separate the, um, the trash and the plastic and to help the environment a little bit just what we can do so I'm gonna step to this piece because this piece came before this piece so this one was inspired by the forest fire of the Amazon rainforest that happened last year and it, I was I was terribly sad about all the animals and that died there, so I feel so touched that I had to paint this. And it's called ex Existence, um, because without the rainforest, without forests at all, um, I think that we cannot exist because they provide us with the oxygen. And it was, it was really something that really got into me. And it has kind of a little bit of um, Frida Kahlo, Influence because she liked to draw like hearts and things in her in her paintings, and I did this not to copy her, but I felt that this is something that really touched my heart, and I felt so sad about what happened back then. And after I painted this, I painted this one. This one is called Drowning, and it's I I painted this with the emotion that I felt kind of helpless about what happens in the world, that I don't really know how to help, what can I do. You look at the news, you feel desperate, you feel like, oh my god, all this is happening around you, and you just feel like drowning. You just feel like there's not much I can do about it. Well, this piece looks kind of peaceful, and um, but in real, it, it's, it's more like a very sad painting to me. It's not like about a peaceful thing that happened there inspired me to do this painting. So next, you see a lot of Frida Kahlo paintings. I'm not gonna get, go in detail maybe to every work. Um, people ask me like, oh, why, like the, why do you paint like color lilies, this kind of specific kind of lilies? And I must say that this was like an influence by Frida Kahlo's husband, Diego Rivera, because he loved to paint color lilies. And um, I was like trying to connect her with the love that she had to her husband. So it's like this is presenting him in the background, if you can see that. And then over there is another Frida Kahlo painting with um, so Mr. Schwarz, he loved it very much. And this is about um, physical pain that, that I, I luckily don't have, but I can I can relate. And I think Peter Carlo is just so great because what everything that happened to her since she was like a little kid, she had polio, like when she was six, she had this terrible accident when she was 18, she was hospitalized like 30 times. She had 30 surgeries, or more than 30 surgeries. She had uneven legs, so I painted those shoes. And then she also had to like cut off the whole leg later on. So she was a very strong woman, not just a great artist, but I think she just is like a hero, or someone who always likes make me feel like no matter how bad life goes, you have to fight and you can keep going like following your dreams and be just great in what you're doing 
besides you know your physical pain. So that's why I have a lot of Frida Kahlo paintings. And over there is a painting with Frida Kahlo, which I call um, "I Paint You Wings and Set You Free." Um, um, how to say it? Birds and wings are really something that have been following me. It's always been kind of an issue to me, like birds, because I had in my previous um, exhibitions, like me with birds in the background, I have a Frida Kahlo outside, all pastas also with, with wings. And why do we always have to paint, paint wings and birds? Because I had a very complicated relationship to my mother, and she was very focused on me, and I always felt that she never gave me wings, that I could not fly, that I was not free. I was, I had to always be there for her. It was, I mean, I loved her, but it was a very, very complicated relationship. So I always have a lot of issues with this, and that's why I'm always expressing things with having wings and birds. So this is like Fina Kahlo. She was like, in this wheelchair and she's painting and she said like she she doesn't need the feet because she has wings and she kind of gave me wings she gave me wings with with, with her inspiration and to paint and, and that also sets me free in a way so yeah this is about the Frida Kahlo and this piece that people said it looks like a cat woman but actually is um, inspired by the Mexican um, uh, holiday or tradition, the Day of the Dead, uh, Dia de los, de los Muertos. Muertos, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I have, um, this piece is called Mortality. I have another, but this one is Mortality. And um, why I painted this, the emotion behind this, is because I think I've lost a lot of people that I loved, like my parents and also pets and, and also a lot of friends that I really loved and I lost them. And I always felt like like death is some, has become so natural to me. Like like sometimes I talk about death and, and my friends go like, P I don't say that. You know, and this is gonna come to my funeral. And people are like, oh my God, don't say things like that. And I don't know, why not? It's, I think it's very natural to talk about death because everybody is gonna die one day. So I think because I've passed so many losses and I've been to so many, so many funerals from colleagues at the embassy who retired and passed away. So death has become like something very normal and natural to me. So I wanted to paint this colorful, it looks happy, like not to be afraid about death because death is something that's normal. It awaits us, all of us. So this is what the painting is about. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. <laughs> That's how it is. So we have luckier, happier pieces over there for the kids. And um, I don't think I may go to one side. Oh, I think you go through the other side. Where is she? This is the Um, these are... This are like happier pieces and um, it's like um, children and pet series that I did in 2016. They were already displayed at the banyan tree at our first exhibition in Bangkok. And um, I don't know, there's not so much of a story behind them, besides that I'm a, a great animal lover. And people always mistake me because we have cats, that I'm a cat person, but I am a dog person. I'm a dog person. <laughs> people don't know that. I always wanted to have a dog when I was, when I was a kid. And I think this is what this painting stand for because I think every kid represents me. Um, I was like, I think Jew, Jew said like, is that you? And I was like, no, that's not me. But then I was looking at her and I was like, yeah, it could be me because 
because I had a dress like that. My mom did it for me, so it could be me, yeah. And this is actually Mammy. This is my dog um, that I've put in there. He passed away. And my husband said, oh, that's very clever that you, that you put Mammy in that painting. So this is more to express like, like childhood dreams, like that I always wanted to have a dog, I always wanted to have a pet. But when we lived in Germany, we were in a little, not a little, but it was an apartment. And my, 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 my parents never allowed me to have dogs because they said this would be punishment for the dog to, to have in an apartment. Then we, got, we, then we got a cat. That's why we got a cat. And, um, hello. <laughs> That's why we got a cat. So then um, I also um, switched to also like cats because in the past, People have prejudiced this prejudice that, that put the thing that the cats are like you know very selfish and they are not like dogs. But but if you really get to know them, I think it's like every person. <laughs> you say, oh, French people are like that, or you know, Spanish people are like that. But if you really get to know them, they everybody they're all kind of the same and they all kind of have something, you know. So I started to really love cats after that, you know, by having forced to get a cat because we couldn't get get a dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Peter asked me what does that mean private collection? <laughs> private collection means I not for it. sale. <laughs> 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 Everything here is for sale, so if you wanna buy, thank you. <laughs> and this is not for sale. Why? I hope I'm not crying, but this is Kitty and everybody is my close friend. I hope, don't, I hope don't cry. Kitty meant so much to us. To Giuliano meant to me. I've never seen Giuliano cry. Never seen him cry before. But I've seen him cry the day that you passed away. Mm. <laughs> and um, my my friend, uh, Dr. Malika, she wanted to know um, because she's a psychologist, so she goes deep. <laughs> she goes deep. She says, I don't, under, I, don't, I don't really understand you lying on the, like, the dead ground because this is like, it's called draught. And then the ivy, because ivy is a plant that stands for life. And I think this is one of my masterpieces because I'm trying to use symbolism to um, express my feelings, how I felt when she died. This, this picture actually really exists that I'm laying there on the bed with Kitty because Kitty was always very, very snuggly. She was always snuggling with me like, like a dog. And she was like a dog. Maybe that's why I loved her so much. And um, draw. Well, yeah. I explained to Mrs. Malika that, that the dead, dry ground is, is me. That's how I feel. I felt when I lost her that my life is over. It's like, I, I really I didn't want to exist, you know. And the ivy is a plant which stands for life, which is true. Um, and the ivy here, as you can see, combines me and Kitty. So Kitty is always going to be with me. And ivy is a plant which is really clingy, you know. So it's always going to stick together. And Ivy is also a plant that stands for strength. Uh, it, it means ivy can exist or grow even under the worst conditions. And that's how I felt. I felt so bad. I really, I really wanted to die. I felt like that. But I had to go on. I have to go on. And that is why I chose ivy to express the strength that I had to put on after she left. Yeah, this one is called also private collection, also not for sale. <laughs> I could not put a price because I cannot sell these. Um, because actually when I painted them, I was also crying. So this is why this exhibition is called Emotions, because I also let out my feelings while I'm painting. And this, this painting is called Thorns of Green. Actually, this came first, then this one. Um, but it took, it took forever for me to finish that one. I was just painting little by little because my pain was like, was like overwhelming. 
And this one is Songs of Grief, and also using roses or flowers as um, a symbol thing to express something because roses stand for love. Everybody knows that. And but uh, roses have thorns, and um, that is something what love is about. Love is not always beautiful. Love can also be very painful, especially if you if you lose someone that you love so much. So you see also the blood, you know, it's dramatic and it's called the thorns, uh, you know, it's going through my skin. So this is also like expressing all the pain that I felt when, when we lost her. And my husband said, you really want to exhibit this? But they are not for sale, are they? And I said, no, no, never, I'm not going to sell these. So I think I'm done with explaining my artwork so far. I have more to say about every art. Oh, I have pieces outside, sorry. I have pieces outside that I haven't explained yet. They are made in oil pastels on paper. These are my earlier works. As I said, I stopped using oil pastels or watercolors later because the medium is just paper that's too small for me. And um, I have like like a series of very strong women because I believe that women are just a stronger gender. <laughs> <laughs> And as it says, every, behind every successful man stands a strong woman. <laughs> yes. And um, yeah, well, that's why I have like um, people, women who inspired, inspired me, or I think that they were really uh, putting a milestone there for women to, to like the power and the strength of what they can achieve. And then I have um, very old oil pastels. Outside, you don't see them <laughs> now. You have when you, when you go to the buffet to the food, you see it is spellbound, and then I have daydreaming, and over there I have devotion. It's all outside, and those were my very first um, oil pastels, and they were inspired by Giuliano. <laughs> <laughs> that were like romantic times when you first met. And that's why the spellbound and the daydreaming. Oh, all I think about Giuliano. <laughs> so those pieces are really also based on emotions, and that's why this exhibition is called Emotions. So if you do have further questions, you can address me later. But so on, I think uh, I have just probably explained um, the story about every painting. Thank you so much. Last but not least, I want to thank my husband for he actually found this place with with my and and thank you and Boris. I don't see Boris here. Um, but anyway, they 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 found this place and then made contact to Dean, the owner of this uh, cafe or pub. Yeah. And thank you so much to Dean, which is he's not here, but he's gonna see it on video. So thank you so much for the opportunity also to display the Buddha paintings that were like kind of forbidden pieces. Um, thank you so much. And yeah, for my husband's always pushing me to be better, to get better, to put more effort in every work. I think you see progresses between first pieces there and then these pieces there. I think you see some progress that I made because he was always pushing me to put more efforts in my work. So thank you for always being so critical. You're welcome. <laughs>
กันกันดูคนดูนี่ดูเลยจีซีโซ่เลยดูเลยจีซีเอ็กซ์วันเออที่สุดมาเนี่ยเราต้องให้อยู่สิวะเราชื่อในคูเดอร์เถ่ายด้วยคุณกังถ่ายไม่ได้ถ่ายด้วยถ่ายไปสองรูปแล้ว